Hey everyone, here's how to do a cool zoom effect in PowerPoint. Here's how to make this effect. First, create your picture layers, then add some zoom lines, and then finally add your animation. Let's jump in and see how to do this. So the first thing we do is, of course, we paste the picture that we want to use in here. So let me paste the, this uh, woman's face here that I'm going to be working with. And let's just stretch that out to be the full slide size so that it looks a lot nicer. Okay, so now that we've done that, we have to choose which area of the picture we want to zoom in on. And in my case, I've chosen the eye and the eyebrow piece here. So what we do is we now duplicate the image by hitting Control D or Control C and Control V, essentially copy and paste if you're on a PC. So now we put the second image exactly on top of the first image. So we line them up exactly like that. And now we take, we go to Format and we go to Crop and we crop out exactly the area that we want to zoom in on. Oops. So we just crop around that eye here like this. And now that you're done, the picture looks exactly the same and it should. But the he but the key here is that you have two pictures here, one on top of the other, and that's what we want. Now we have to decide how much we want to zoom in on this eye. And in order to play around with some options, we go to the Animations tab, and we go to the Grow Shrink effect here. And what you see there is exactly 150% of zoom. And to play around with that, we can go to uh, Effect Options and click on the box here. And you can play around with different settings for the zoom. I actually really like 150 just the way it is. And that's what I used in the example, so that's what I'm going to go with. OK, now here comes the tricky part. We have to now duplicate this eye. And now we go to the Format tab, and we actually resize this with the same amount of zoom as we had before. So since we had 150%, that's what we go with. So you go to Size, and you go to, you take out relative to original picture size. And now you actually scale this 150. And that's what it looks like. So the next step here is very important. You actually have to line this up exactly with the other image that you had here of the eye until it looks exactly like the crosshairs that you have on the screen. You can also use the align features by going up here to align objects, and then you can go to align center, and then align middle, so that these two are exactly on top of each other. Okay, now that we're done with that, I wanna show you one last layering option here. If, if you saw the original example that I did, the picture actually faded to gray after the zoom happened. So if you want the same thing done for your picture, what you can do is duplicate the original picture again, and then we go to color, and then we can make it one of the gray tones. Choose this one here, and we line this up to exactly match the original. And what we do now is we go to, we right click, and then we go to send to back, and then send backward, because we want it to go just one layer down. So this will help us make the picture fade to gray when we want to do that. So now that you have this, we're now ready to add the zoom lines. So to add the zoom lines, we just go to Insert, Shapes, 
and then we select one of the, one of the lines here. And you just want two vertical lines and two horizontal lines. And to make, the, make sure the line is straight, you hold down the Shift key while you're dragging it. And let's recolor that to black. And by the way, it really doesn't matter if the line goes off of the screen like this one does. And now we just line up the line so that it matches the picture, so that it's right on the side of this picture. Duplicate the line, and now we line this up again here. Duplicate again, and now we rotate this so that it's horizontal. Drag it out and make sure that it's lined up. And then do it again. Oops. Okay, now let's zoom in on this just to make sure that the lines are pretty close to exact. And it looks like it. And as a final step, let's just select all the lines. and then bring them to the front. And again, it looks a little bit weird that these aren't exactly lined up, so I'll line them up a little bit better, but it really doesn't matter. Okay, so now we are ready to animate. To create the animation, we go to the Animations tab, and then we open the Animation pane so that we can see what we're working with. Since I was playing around with the zoom already, the two eyeball pieces have zoom effects attached to them. So what I want to do first is remove the one that's on this top layer because that's not going to get zoomed, that's already zoomed. So we take out that animation and we're actually instead going to add a fade animation to it. Don't worry about the timings for now, we'll adjust all that in a little bit. So now let's work with the lines. So to do that, we first select the lines by hitting by holding control and or shift while we select them. Now we're going to add a fly in animation. And of course, we're not going to keep it that way. <laughs> we're actually going to make make the lines fly in from the opposite direction. So this top one is good because it's going to come in from the bottom. This one we're actually going to make it start from the top. This one is going to start from the right. And this one is going to start from the left. So overall it's going to look like this. Cool. Now one thing I actually forgot that I just noticed is that this picture here needs to have a black outline so that it looks better. So let's just go to format and picture border and then just add a black border here. So that, that now that looks a lot better when you go like that. Okay. Now the trick here is going to be lining up the zoom so that it goes at the same time as the lines do and then it finishes right at the end along with them. So let's clean up the timing here a little bit. Let's put the lines, let's select all the lines and drag them to the top here and let's make them all have a duration of one second. So this zoom effect, and by the way, this one is going to be on the little eyeball that's behind here. Ooh, let's actually find that eyeball <laughs> by taking this and sending it one layer to the back again. So send backwards one more time. I should have done this in the previous step, but I forgot. So here, 
let's move this back here so that we have a nice picture to work with again. So let's move this back where it was. Okay, let's continue with the animations. So this zoom effect, as I said, is gonna be on the small eyeball back here. So we're, we actually want it to end just as these lines are ending. So let's give it a uh, duration of 0.1 and have it start with previous and give it a delay of 0.9. And this is actually not set in stone. You really have to play around with the timing and the duration uh, to make it work and line up with the lines that you're working with in your own picture. And this one, this fade effect is for this large eyeball here. So let's have that start after previous and give it a also a duration of 0.1. So this is what it should look like. Now you can see that the small eyeball doesn't go quite fast enough to keep up with the lines. So what that means is we actually have to make it start earlier and be a little bit slower so that it ends up right when the lines do. So let's make this 0.13 in duration and make the delay 0.87. And by the way, these numbers have to add up to one second because that's how fast our lines are going. Let's try this again. A lot better. Actually, let's use this timing because it's it's pretty good already. Okay, now as the final steps here, let's make this piece come in right after the zoom effect happens. So let's give it a, um, make it start with previous and give it a 0.25 duration. And then finally, let's make the lines fade out. So let's select them again, add animation, and then we go to fade. And have them also start with previous. So what, we're end so what we end up with is the following. Perfect. Now let's look at what that looks like close up. Well, that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, this effect is really cool. It can be used in lots of different ways. You can use it for maps, for example, different diagrams, showing pictures of products and how to use the different features. Uh, it's, a, it's a really nice effect that'll make any presentation look a lot more professional and very, very spicy. So thanks again for watching and see you for my next video.